Hello all, just wanted to take a moment and uh, kind of share with you the latest iteration of my interactive proximity modules. I've uh, broken the shoddy barrier, I guess you could say, and gone from building things with wood and wires and whatnot and kind of upgraded to, uh, you know, PCB boards, which is uh, a lot easier to build. I have four modules here. They're each a square foot each, so four square feet. Went ahead and uh, went through PCBUniverse.com. I could thank Dan Walsh for kind of answering a lot of my stupid questions and kind of walking me through what it takes to go from design concept to uh, an actual board. So it worked out pretty well. I will definitely be going back to there for the next iteration. But I uh, you know, just wanted to kind of show you it works a little better than last time. I changed the sensors, changed some of the components, got the boards, built them, tweaked the program, and uh, for the most part, after a couple issues, got them, got them working. I'm pretty happy with the results. Still kind of maintains some of that, you know, uh, proportional output versus distance sensed. I'm trying to go a little bit slow to go too fast. It's going to miss, but that's okay. Well, the next plan is to, uh, the next iteration is going to be a full color board. Instead of 12 inch by 12 inch, it'll be 9 inch by 9 inch. Have our red, green, blue LEDs. Probably be the same concept, 16 pixels like we have here, except instead of a square foot, it'll be 9 inch by 9 inch, so almost half of the area, but a higher light density, so I'm hoping it'll look a little bit more diffused, a little bit better, and less pixelated. That's the plan. I still have more work to do on the sensors. They work a little bit better than last time, but still kind of some problems. Turn the light on real quick. Incandescent lights don't work as well. Kind of work, but not, not quite as well. They're basically just barely holding on. They're so drowned out by the uh, infrared wavelength coming from the incandescent that it uh, makes it kind of difficult to get any more usable feedback from them. So. And also, my boy and I wearing a black glove doesn't work so well. So, it's got problems. Can't really get around that, at least not yet. If you've been watching these videos, you've been kind of keep, maybe keeping up with uh, how things have changed and you know, this, this board used to be that board. This was born from this. So you might recognize it from the latest video, but I had to rob several parts off of it. The old circuit to get some of these finished. Mainly, these components are different. This black phototransistor doesn't work as well as photodiodes, FYI.
Well, and this is uh, it's the last thing I'll have to show you. It's just kind of the board. You know, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was doing this layout on software, but you know, it actually wasn't too bad. It worked out pretty well. Again, Dan answered a lot of my questions, and uh, without him, this would have been a total failure because a lot of holes wouldn't have been big enough, and you know, this wouldn't have worked. You can see that I already even before I got the boards I had to uh, I already changed my center design at least a couple times and so that by the time I got these boards back I had to kind of manually reroute some of the components to make it work the way I wanted to but it worked out the next uh, time I order these boards it'll be full of changes but that's about it I appreciate you watching